addition of Grignard's reagent to aldehydes in the ketones. Aldehydes in the ketones add on the Grignard's reagent to form addition products, which upon hydrolysis uh, with the water in acidic medium will produce alcohols. So aldehydes and the ketones, they react with the Grignard's reagent. Here is a double bond, carbon oxygen double bond. And we know the carbonyl group is polar. It has a delta negative charge, delta positive charge here. And this is the delta negative here. And in a Grignard reagent, it is R negative and Mg positive. So this is the nucleophile here, R negative. This nucleophile will add uh, on the carbon. And this electron pair will shift towards the oxygen. So what you get, you get the RCO negative here and then a alkyl group from the Grignard reagent and you have a hydrogen right and this you know magnesium here with the positive charge is going to form a bond with the oxygen so it will be here mg positive and the halogen atom so mgx is here so that means when you react a Grignard reagent to the aldehyde or even a ketone you know there will be an addition product this is our addition product that you normally get and after that, when you do the hydrolysis, you react with the you know, this molecule with the water in acidic medium. Okay, so what happens here? The magnesium is lost here by the hydrogen. Okay, so you get R C O H. So from the water, H goes to the oxygen. H positive goes to the O negative. And you get an alkyl group here and this is the hydrogen plus what do you get you get a magnesium with halogen atom and a hydroxide because when you do the hydrolysis hydrogen is added to the oxygen and the OH goes to the magnesium so this is our product that you get you get an alcohol here right so when you take aldehyde and react with the Greek bond reagent you get an addition product and this addition product upon further hydrolysis it produces the alcohol all right, let me take here an example. So that means if you take a CH3 molecule, CH3, C double bond O and hydrogen here, you react with the ethyl magnesium bromide. Let's say this, this is C2H5MgBr. What you will get? You get a compound like this. CH3, CO, MgBr will be here. And this will have a ethyl group at this position now when you hydro when you hydrolyze this compound in acidic medium oxygen will be attacked by the hydrogen and OH is attached with the magnesium so you get an alcohol you get a compound like this CH3 COH and there's a C2H5 group and there's a hydrogen which means that if you Add a Grignard reagent first to the aldehyde and after that do the hydrolysis, you get an alcohol. You can see the starting compound here is aldehyde and from the aldehyde you got a secondary alcohol, right? This is a secondary, a two degree alcohol. And in this two degree alcohol, we have a one alkyl group from the you know, from this aldehyde and another alkyl group is from, it is from the Grignard's reagent. So if you look at this reaction overall, you can say it is the addition of the Grignard reagent. This is the net reaction here, right? So this is our aldehyde and you are adding here a Grignard reagent first and after that do the hydrolysis. So the net reaction is that you have to add alkyl group to the oxygen and hydrogen to the oxygen. You know, that will be the net reaction. Okay, if you look at this, you know, two-step process here, the net reaction is that you are attaching an alkyl group to the carbon and attaching a hydrogen to the oxygen. Similarly, if we you know, react to the ketones with the Grignard's reagent and then do the hydrolysis, then what you will get? Rather than hydrogen here, now you will have a alkyl group. So that means from the ketones, you will get a tertiary alcohol. All right, from ketones, you will get tertiary alcohols. Let's take here an example. Here in this case, we have a ketone here. This is our ketone. And when you react to the Grignard reagent, so the alkyl from the Grignard reagent will attack on the carbon and the magnesium will attack on the oxygen. So there will be the addition on the carbon oxygen double bond. So you get an addition product like this. You have oxygen with the magnesium bromide here. And then you have two alkyl groups from this one, from the ketone. 
So these are the two R groups and you have a one alkyl group from the Grignard reagent. So now there are three alkyl groups here attached to the carbon and you have a MgBr. When you hydrolyze this compound here, after the hydrolysis, what you expect? You will get a hydrogen attached to the oxygen and the magnesium will be attached with the bromine. Sorry, you know, uh, this hydroxide. Okay? And the magnesium will be attached with the hydroxide. So that means you will get a compound like this, RCOH, and then you got an R and then another alkyl group. So you get a tertiary alcohol from here. So this is our tertiary alcohol. So from ketones, you will get tertiary alcohols. Two alkyl groups are from the ketones and one alkyl group is from the Grignard region. So that means if I take an example of a ketone, like you know, you have a acetone here, CH3, C double bond O, CH3. And if you react to this molecule with the ethyl magnesium bromide, C2, MgBr here. And after that, you do the hydrolysis, right? This is the first step. The second step is you're going to do the hydrolysis. So after the hydrolysis, what you will get? Alkyl will be attached to the carbon and hydrogen will be attached to the oxygen. So you get a compound CH3COH, C2H5, and you got the CH3 here. Plus what do you get? Magnesium attached with the bromine and a hydroxyl group also. Okay. So this is our tertiary alcohol, three degree alcohol. So that means when you add Grignard's reagent to the aldehydes and the ketones, and subsequently you hydrolyze it, you will get alcohols. From aldehydes, you get secondary alcohol. From ketones, you will get tertiary alcohols. If you react the Grignard reagent with the formaldehyde, so what you will get? From this one, you know, it is the C2H5 that will attack on the carbon and the hydrogen will attack on the oxygen. So you get a carbon attached with the OH group and there are two hydrogen atoms and one alkyl group, one C2H5 group. So that means this is a one degree alcohol. One degree alcohol you can get when you react to the Grignard reagent with the formaldehyde. But if you take any other aldehyde and then react with the Grignard reagent and after that do the hydrolysis, you will get secondary. Correct. From the aldehydes, you get secondary. From the ketones, you get tertiary alcohol. But if you take a formaldehyde, then you will get a one degree alcohol. Hope you got the concept. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.